So here's the deal. Uh, that concourse I told you about that I was trying to get into over the last couple of months, uh, I heard back from them last week and I'm in. So I got an invitation to it. They accepted me. BMW is the featured mark, 100 year anniversary and all that good stuff. So um, I'm in the show, which is good, but not so good in that the letters that they sent out were like two weeks before the event. So I got all kinds of projects I need to get done. So I wish they would have told me about it a little bit earlier than the 1st of September. So uh, we're in prep mode now. And I told you about the clear bra on the front that I still needed to get off. Well, I started to tackle that this morning. Um, here's what's going on with it. I'll show you. Uh, and it's not looking good right now. So here's what I did. I went down to a local clear bra place that puts these things on and takes them off. I don't know if you can see this. But we basically had to scrape the clear bra off with plastic razor blades and use heat and steam and all that stuff. So we got the plastic part off, but the glue is all left. Um, it, you know, if, if we tried to pick at it and get everything off at once, it literally takes several days to do it. Um, and we don't have several days. So as you can see here, it's completely covered in glue. So this is my next project to get all of the glue off. Now, my weapon of choice is going to be uh, goof off. And we actually used some of this at the clear bra place and it actually came off pretty good. Um, on the side uh, quarter panel here, we did about this much right here and it came off about five minutes. Um, so we just need to be careful with that. I'm going to have to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off the, the lights and the lenses. I'll make sure this stuff doesn't get on the lenses because it can fog them up and do some weird things to uh, plastic. I might even take the kidneys out just to be safe. I may cover the bumper since that's, you know, obviously been touched up and repainted and stuff. So, man, if I can get this done um today get most of it done that would be huge at least get it off and then i can worry about completely clay bar the whole thing again again to get all the residue and any last remaining pieces of glue off um and i told you about the roofie the uh, roof is uh, uh orbital the wrong one that they sent i did get the new one that they uh, should have sent me in the first place the uh, bigfoot 21 so we're good to go there um, so we'll give that boy a good workout as soon as I get the clear bra stuff off. So that's kind of where we are right now. This is sort of prep mode. Um, I got five days, so, you know, if this is going to be the, the biggest part, biggest challenge is just getting that crap off. Once I do that, the polishing and, and buffing, waxing the car, um, that should go pretty smooth because really the rest of the paint's perfect. So, um, and the interior uh, is pretty good. One thing I will have to do is I did treat the rubber sort of seal here on the windshield. I did this side, as you, can, you might be able to see, it's a little bit darker than that side. I need to treat that side to get a little bit darker. Uh, I got some stuff to use for that. But other than that, that's where we are. So, this is sort of concourse preparation mode uh, the events on Sunday it's Monday right now so barring any unforeseen catastrophes we should be good to go now the uh, the event if it rains at the event I ain't going I don't go to events where it's raining out it's just too much of a pain in the ass you spend you know week two three weeks cleaning your car you go to the event it gets rained on and it's like all for naught it's just, now this event i don't know maybe i could make an exception because it's pretty highfalutin it's invitation only and stuff so um you know maybe i could do that but we'll just have to play it by ear hopefully if the weather is like uh next week is like it's been the last couple of days it'll be perfect um high 70s low humidity 
um, sunny sky, so it's been really good. So we'll just see. Mid-late September in the Midwest usually isn't too bad, so you get more good days than bad days, which is not the case in July and August where it's just frickin' 92 degrees with 80% humidity, and it could literally thunderstorm at the drop of a hat. So, so that's where we are. That's what's going on now. I'll walk you through some of this as I make progress here just to um, extend the video and show you how far I get and what I'm doing here. So hopefully at the end of this, um, everything will be pretty much back to where we need it to be. So until then.